So we have uh, <laughs> roughly like 35 breaks left. Here we go. 2012 SP Authentic Box Break number 374. Easter Stand Time. Here's everybody up in it. Good to have you guys on board. It'll move quicker whenever we hit some of the boxes like after SP Authentic that uh, only have a couple cards in them like uh, triple threads and that kind of stuff. So don't you worry about that. Not that, I mean, you know what? It's Friday. Might as well. And there's no breaks tomorrow, so we might as well have gone big tonight. Okay, what's up, Straw? How you doing, buddy? All right, let's get up in it. So three hits per box of SP Authentic. These, you guys, dude, you guys knock these out in less. Oh my God, Jarrett Lee. You can you can tell that if you get a hit out of here, you really get a hit because if not, you're getting a Jarrett Lee or an Aaron Corpse. One of the two. Here's an Andre Ware die cut. I wonder if AD will make it back from wherever glitter club he's at before we get done with the breaks tonight. I mean, it's a strong possibility. We have a lot of breaks to go. All right. So right now, Jared Lee running around with the only hit so far, and nobody knows on the planet where Jared Lee goes. But for $7 buy one, get one free spots, you might as well give it a shot. We've already pulled one Andrew Luck auto out of a $7 buy one, get one free spot break. Who's to say we can't do it again? Here's an RG3 Stadium Authentic. Actually, rare question mark. Yes or no, it's going to Cleveland. Theo. So that's actually kind of tight. I bet you those are shorter print too. I don't know who wants that card other than AD right now, but uh, should still have a couple hits left. Yeah, wherever AD is at. Oh, anybody want to teach me how to Dougie? It's Biggie, 1987. Getting that Dougie. Two-color patch, on-card auto. I like what's happening out of here out of these $7 breaks, dude. Uh-oh. Then you got Edwin Baker. What's up, Steel City? Edwin Baker? <laughs> hey, Edwin. Yeah, I'm a face, bro. What practice squad are you on right now, Edwin? All right, last two packs in box number three, but I will take a $3.50 Dougie Martin. All right, so nice little Douglas. Here's all the base, all 7,000 pounds of it. It's practically all fillers too, which is weird. All right. So that is box number three of SP Authentic. We'll keep plugging away. We'll go box number four right now.
Yes. Defuzz, yes. Absolutely. All right, so here, here we go. 2012 SB Authentic Box Break number four, 11 o'clock. Listen, we are, it's just the tip of the breaks tonight. We're only five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten out of 42 or 43 breaks so far. But it'll start to speed up after we start blowing through the uh, boxes that have 24 packs in them. Which I'm doing my best. Get them knocked out. After tonight, like I said, if you guys get hit anything tonight that you want to get graded, make sure to submit by the end of the breaks tonight because uh, I'm packing and shipping tomorrow because then I have to pack my entire house. Yeah. Not just like, oh, hey, you got like, oh, you got to send out 200 packages. No. I have to send every belonging I have back to Ohio. So I'm just saying, do me a solid. Get it submitted early. Why can't you just open like normal packs, SB Authentic? What? Alright, still no autos yet. I'm waiting for like a weirdo on-card auto of somebody just off the wall. Right there, Mark Tyler. So Mark Tyler Auto. So like I said, AD will get them all listed up. Whenever he gets back from the Glitter Club. I wouldn't mind seeing a nice like Baby Russ Auto right now. When am I gonna ship to Canada? Not tonight, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Sorry buddy, I know man. My main goal is to get Ultimate Box Breaks 2.0 set up back in Ohio, and then after a couple weeks, then I can start exploring some options. Now I got you, man. I got you. <laughs> Mark Steven Tyler. Yes, 100%. How does it always come down to the last couple packs where the rookie patch auto is at? This is box number four of SP Authentic. We're going all the way through the rest of the case here out of SP, and then uh, we'll switch gears, knock around some triple threads. Uh, after that, we'll switch gears. I mean, we're going to break a lot tonight. There's no easy way around. How about Dan Boom Herring? So Dan Boom Herring... Three color patch in there. Now I got you, DeFuzz. Now believe me, man. Okay. I'm going to take this Bernie. Eight out of ten. Bernie Kozar. Sign of the times. Hand serial numbered for you. Weekend at Bernie's. I kind of like it. I'm not going to play around. I like it a lot. Okay, SP Authentic starting to pick up the pace a little bit there with a little Bernie. All right, so box number four in the books. Like I said, I'm starting to move. Starting to move. Let's keep it rolling. Box number five.
Yeah, no, I hear you, man. Hockey is a difficult sport to break. I don't know anybody's name. All right, here we go. So we're going to move and say, I can't pronounce half the football names, let alone the hockey names. All right, so this is break number five of SP Authentic. Good to have you guys on board. Thanks so much. Uh, AD will get all the uh, hits listed up because there are some weirdos coming out of this stuff. Really, we're looking for the, the rookie patch autos or some short print vet autos uh, out of the set there. But we have so many breaks to do tonight. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Last night in Phoenix, I know. It feels weird to say that. But the next Ultimate Box Breaks Man Cave is going to blow your mind. Yes, it is. Will we be breaking there on Wednesday of this next week coming up? Absolutely, we will. Yeah, no, I've heard the name Connor McDavid. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely heard of him. But other than that, I don't think there's anybody else. I saw a, uh-oh, how about little Barry Sanders? OKC okay, going to Detroit what? Petey, 3484, there you go, bub. Sure, nothing's autoed in there so far. Nothing yet. We're in box number five right now. There we go. All right, this is Melvin Ingram. So shorter print on card. Melvin Ingram auto there. And then. So we got some uh, 2016 stuff that would be cracking as well. Coming up here tonight. And if you guys missed out for some reason, like if you have a flip phone or whatever the reason may be, you missed out on 43 breaks or 42 breaks or what it was. I can't be like, listen, I feel really bad. Let me do this again. I can't do I can't do this again, number one, because then I would be out of business. But number two, it's just like, you know, they were up there for a good bit. Alright, so we're still waiting on at least another auto. DeFuzz trying to sell us on Canadar. Doing a good job at it, too. All right, last couple packs here in uh, box number five. Where are the autos at? Right here. All right. Okay, I mean, he's still the starter for those Rams. So, Dirt, there you go with the Case Keenum. 43 out of 885. Case Keenum. Oh, yeah, that's right. Crosby. Yep, yep, yep. How about Shea McClellan? Is he still on the Bears? I don't know, but there's Shea. Last two packs, so we had to wait to the end to pull that... Uh, Pull that Case Keenum. All right, box five in the books. We're, hey guys, we're almost through SP Authentic. Promise. Almost through it. Got about 16 minutes left. of SP Authentic. Okay, let's get the next roster printed out for us.
So, thanks guys for hanging out here tonight. If you got nothing else to do, might as well just kick back, grab a beverage, see what feels right tonight. And uh, if you got into some breaks, we'll get to them all, I promise. We're going to bring them all here tonight. I'm going to package everything tomorrow. Get her shipped out uh, Saturday and Sunday. Obviously, no mail goes out on Sunday, but get her pack shipped up. Then pack up my entire house and studio and move to Ohio. That's the game plan. We're going to see how far we get. Another SP Threads pack, which is always nice. Okay. So hits always before the filler. That's why we're trying to get to that. So the SP Threads pack is a uh, hot pack. It's just one card in there, but it will be one of the autos, which is nice. And actually, we are going to hit a weird auto. You watch. The no-name base auto that we're going to hit is going to be astounding. Rough guess on different shipping addresses tonight. Um, I don't know. It's, it's tough to like guess the. Uh, usually, I mean, we have a pretty good. Uh, probably say right around like one eighty-five to two hundred and fifteen different uh, packages that I send out per week. So, and we do a lot. Of, obviously, a lot of combined shipping because you know you guys are in breaks throughout the week, and there's no point in me sending out eight gazillion packages. Uh, just because then you got more of uh, then you put yourself at more of a chance to lose one of those packages when you do that. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, usually sh shipping costs are right around a thousand dollars a week, somewhere right around there. To give you guys like uh, just a little perspective, of what's going on? Here's Devere Posey, four fifty nine at an eight eighty five. Devere Posey. But yeah, so if you guys were like, oh man, I can't wait to start my own <laughs> box breaking thing. It, it's tough. I'm not going to play around. I mean, there's a reason why we've been going for about six years now. It takes a good bit to build it up. But the behind the scenes stuff, that's what will get you. It really will. How about two of those? Uh, Jeff Fuller, though. So Jeff Fuller, Rookie Patch Auto. All right, maybe we'll have an extra hit in here. I don't know. We are in box number six of SP. Here's another hit. You got Andre Ware, Sign of the Times. Yeah, no, and that's the thing. Like, I do everything from start to finish. I case everybody's hits I I mean I do everything like when you guys ask for emails of scans and when you guys I mean you name it and then uh, not to mention <laughs> not to get a, like on a tangent about it but not to mention to be able to order all of this inventory for us to break that is somebody's full-time job anywhere else but I get it knocked out for you guys that's the thing because this inventory just doesn't fall on my lap no, I gotta order it. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta order it. That's the thing. All right, I'm gonna take a little Brock Osweiler. And that's going to Houston. We don't have a problem. So Steel City fan JS with a little Osweiler. Out of 335. All right, box six. In the books. Let's keep it going. Okay. So, box 
box uh, number seven coming up. We're almost done with the SP Authentic, then we'll switch gears. So here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. The one man, the one man band. Yes, one hundred percent. It's tough to find people that you trust. Like everybody's always like, "Hey, man, just find somebody to package up those cards, those thingies that you play with all day long." Don't Google that either. It's tough. You just can't hire anybody to come in here and package because these cards are condition sensitive. And so if you just get anybody in here that doesn't give a rat's ass about the cards, I'm just saying. It's tough to be like, yeah, come in here and package up the cards and risk the entire business that I've built for the past six years. Now it's, it's a t it is tough, it's tough to do. So uh, that's why, you know what, I'm like, hey, I'll just bite the bullet and uh, package and ship everything myself because I know that it'll get done right. And that I know if I make a mistake, which pff, never happens, I'm just joking, uh, because I'm so human that does happen sometimes, then uh, I get it taken care of. All right, here's Mike Allstott. A, uh, this is break number seven, by the way. A little die cut of Mike Allstott. Things you play with all day now trending, yes. <laughs> I mean, there's some other people. Oh, oh no. So okay, so this is actually you can't. It's really tough to see in your guys' end, and I'm not sure if Upper Deck's gonna redeem it or not. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can always ask and be like, dude, just just do it. But this is a Dante Hightower. All right, it's going to be really difficult to see. But it is. It's a Dante Hightower. I promise you. I wouldn't be able to make that name up if I tried to on the spot. So Dante Hightower, redemption there. Yeah, I mean, the three-step BGS, it's, uh, it's kind of nice. I was really excited about that when I put that into place. And we've been doing BGS for what, like, like the three-step BGS for uh, roughly about three years now. We're pressing right up against about ten thousand submissions out to BGS as well. So it's a pretty good. We got a pretty good gig going on, man. Ah, no problem, Jay White. No problem. And so for a lot of you guys that are on the uh, East Coast, uh, as of next week, you guys are going to get your packages even faster. And if you guys are on the West Coast, I mean, listen, I still get it done. Don't you worry about that. I still get it done. I get the packages out to you guys, too. And that's what I try to do. I try to build that consistency to where I ship... Like, there has to be, like, unusual circumstances for me not to ship on the same time every single week. And so, uh, and usually those unusual circumstances... Hey, now, look at this patch for Captain. Hey, now. Dude, I like that a lot. Going to be beard. 
Put yourself on the board. Um, I haven't decided yet whether to change the E39. Great question. And listen, I'm here to field questions as well. Here's Mike Willing. Uh, he also goes by, if you guys uh, do a quick like uh, <clears throat> search uh, for Mike Willie, he goes by Mike Big Willie. I know it sounds childish, but uh, <clears throat> if you look on uh, Wikipedia, you can find that. I'm just joking, dude. I have no idea what he does. Um, no, right now we're 10 p.m. Uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Uh, over here on the West Coast. So uh, I'm still not sure. Like it's gonna be a, a, a little bit of an adjustment whenever I get back there. And because 7 p.m., yeah, I can crush a couple beers with you guys and feel pretty good about it. But if I were to do that at 10 o'clock at night, that might be a little different. Might be singing a different tune the next day. So like I said, it's gonna be, uh, we'll figure it out. If we have to change it by an hour, so be it. I feel like we're breaking enough now to where a lot of you guys are staying up pretty late anyways. Um, so that might not be the worst thing in the planet. Okay, so that was box number seven.